So now that we have logs coming into Nagios Log Server and we know how to query the data, it's time to learn how to set up alerts, which is what we'll cover in this video. There are two ways to start the process of setting up an alert. The first way is from a dashboard where you've just perfected a query. Click up here on the bell icon and it will start creating an alert from the current query and filter settings on the dashboard. The second way to start setting up an alert is to click on the alerting link in the top menu bar and then click on the new alert button. Let's name our alert. Now, our alerts are based on queries, so here we will pick from one of our saved queries. When you create an alert using the bell icon on a dashboard page, you won't see this option as your alert will be based on the dashboard's current query. Here though, we're going to select the Windows failed login saved query. Now we choose a check interval. This defines how often the check will run. You can define the check interval in seconds, minutes, hours, or days. We will choose five minutes. Next is the look back period. This is how far back into the data we're going to search. This might be equal to the check interval, but it doesn't have to be. For example, you might have something that should occur at least once every hour, but it might not happen at the same time every hour. In a case such as that, you could set the check interval to five minutes and the look back to one hour so that every five minutes you are checking to see if the thing has happened in the last hour or not. In this example though, we're going to set the look back to five minutes. Next we have our thresholds. We set one threshold for warning and one threshold for critical. In the case of Windows failed logins, we might set our warning at two. After all, it's pretty easy to get a login wrong once, so we may not want to set it smaller than two. For critical, we might set it at 10. 10 failed logins is quite possibly a sign of someone trying to guess passwords on a machine. For alert method, none is the first option you might choose. Choosing this, the alert will show up on the alert page and in alert history, but it won't go out to anything or anyone. Let's jump to the email option now. You can choose one or multiple users to email, and you can choose a template for the email. You will notice that the only alert when warning or critical threshold is met is checked. The body of the email message can be configured to state whether it was the warning or the critical threshold that was met. You might also have log server send an SNMP trap to another application. Just select from the list of receivers in the dropdown. You can also have Nagios Log Server execute a script based on a check result. You specify the path to the script and you can pass arguments to your script. These arguments can include specific variable information from Nagios Log Server. Finally, you can have Nagios Log Server pass your check results to a Nagios XI or core server. You might assign a host name like Nagios Log Server and a service name like Windows Failed Logins. You will notice here that the only alert when warning or critical threshold is met is unchecked. For sending results to a Nagio server, you might want to leave it unchecked so that your Nagio server gets every check result, including the OK results. When you're finished, click Create Alert. You will see your new alert appear on the Alerts page with a pending status. This completes the video on alerting in Nagios Log Server.